In areas where the hospitality industry is king, the need for employees is huge going into spring and summer. For small businesses, there are some concerns with keeping up with demand to pay higher wages. NBC 15's James Gordon joins us live from Baldwin County tonight. Uh, James, how are these businesses coping? Well, you know, it's basic supply and demand, a lot of jobs and few employees, and the tourists are coming. Earlier this week, the National Restaurant Association warned congressional leaders that raising the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour would push more employees off payroll, raise menu prices, and force more restaurants to close. Ed Bashaw is with the Gateway Initiative, following workforce development in Baldwin County. Uh, you know, you raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour and take away that tip credit. What's going to happen is, is that servers that are used to making $25, $30, $35 an hour are going to be making $15 an hour, so it's actually going to hurt them. Job fairs from Foley to Gulf Shores are ongoing now. Today, businesses from restaurants to arcades came to Gulf Shores High School looking for spring and summer employees. Our insurance, we supposedly had an estimated damage of 180 something thousand dollars. We only received 21,000 from them as of this point. Frank Hughes owns Adventure Island, one of many businesses making a comeback from Hurricane Sally's damage. He can't afford to pay those higher wages, and he starts his new employees at $9.50 an hour. We're in that $12, $14 an hour up, you know, for folks. But sometimes wages don't even help. People are, are so different nowadays, and it's just hard to uh, get folks to work. It's what workforce experts call a progressive wage approach, a way to pay for a job well done and a way to retain employees. Well, what we find is is that people don't tend to leave, to leave jobs. They, they leave managers. And if you have a, a strong company culture where you're, you're valuing those employees, giving them a progressive wage, giving them more responsibility along the way, and showing them a possible career path. You know, attractions, hotel, resort, uh, restaurant careers are, are strong, especially in our area. And from Foley to Gulf Shores, you can expect to land a job with an hourly wage ranging from $9 to $15 just to start. In Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.